Okay, you guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make this bead cup. So, I hope you guys like it. If you needed this little, you're going to put it on 18 sea beads. One white, one black. And we're going to make a circle. We're going to use, you can use CB size 11 if you want it this little. If you want it bigger, you can use something like this one, which are size um, 8. I'm going to use 11. And then I'm going to use size 10 needle and size uh, B through it. Like this. You do not need that much thread, but I'm going to make two videos, so I'm going to need this much. But you need about maybe 20 inches. No much. I mean, no more than that. Alright, so let's try and see if I can get it right. This is the last video I made today. It looks gorgeous, isn't it? I love it. Well, we're going to put this one to the side. And then, I'm going to use something like that to help me with the bead cut. So, we're going to pick up some of the CBs, the black ones and the white ones. Let me see if we we'll more white out. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now we count nine more. One, two, three, Four, whoopsie daisy, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, just like that, and we're going to make a circle. leave enough thread so you can grab it at the beginning too because it is really hard sometimes the cbs are very small so it moves a lot see that's what i'm talking about See what he's doing? It's making me crazy. Well, right here we're going to tie a knot, and hopefully this time we get it right. Let's see how we're going to do this. Let's see. Right here, we're going to pass the needle 
through the white one we pick up the black one one of the black ones and then we pass the needle through the white one we're going to do the same all the way around just like that Right here, we put it in the last one. So we pass the needle through the white one. And through the black one. Just like so. Pull it. Looks like that. Now, we're going to pick up the white ones. We pass the needle through the black one, like this. Pick up a white one, pass the needle through the black one, all the way around. always escaping one obviously all right so we pick up the white one we pass the needle through the black one and right here we pick up one more we pass the needle Aquí vamos a continuar metiendo las de blanco. Aquí metemos la de blanco, pasamos la aguja por la de negro. Aquí otra vez recogemos una de blanco. So we pick up the white one and we pass the needle through the black one and then through the white one. This is the step up that you guys call it. Like that. Then when you tie it. It's going to get like a circle. See? Make as many turns as you want it. Depends on how long you want your bead. Your cap bead. Alright? So. I'm going to put this one on it. Because it helps a lot. Alright? So. Now, we're going to pick up the black one, and we're going to do the same thing. Escape one, pass the needle through the next one, which is the white one. All the way around.
Well, how was everybody um, Christmas and New Year? You guys have a great time. I hope you guys do. I did. I was having a great, great time with my babies, playing with them, feeding them, taking care of them. Yeah, it was a great time. You know, if you don't have your real family, then you have to be happy with whatever you have handy. In this case, my little baby girls, they made me so happy. I do remember my family, but what else can I do? So, I taking care of my babies makes me feel good about it. So, that's what I did. So, I hope you guys enjoy the time with your family. If you have your family with you, you can go to visit your family. I hope you guys get a great time. Well, looks like right here I'm at the end of the turn. So, I'm going to pass the needle through the white one and through the black one right here. I moved the camera, did I? Yes, I did. Oh my goodness. Alright, so right here, we're going to pick up that white this time. And we do the same thing. Escape one, pass the needle through the next one. Just like that. Well, like I was saying, I hope all you guys' wishes come through. Because Christmas and New Year is just once a year. Well, like I said, me, I just have company of my cats. What else can I do? I have to enjoy what I have. It is a bless to have my babies. So, we pass the needle through the black and through the white one, right here. Just like that. Now we continue with the black. We're going to make four turns. Let me see. One, two, three, four. Yeah, four turns. So now it's black. That's really, really, really. Third time in Christmas, third time in New Year's. If you have nobody to share the time with or to enjoy yourself with, <clears throat> well, I think it is. I think it is really sad if you have nothing, you know, like people living with you, 
taking care of you, loving you, and then somebody to love. That's totally, totally, totally horrible. So that's why I wish you guys a Merry Christmas and a very Happy New Year because I know I'm not going to be happy any of these years until I get back to see my family. So. I wonder how can I just go, but it's easy for me to just leave and that's it. How about my babies? What are my babies going to do? Who's going to take care of them? Yeah. So, now I have a family here to take care of. And I have to think about that. Right here is the end of the turn again. See? One, two, three. One, two, three, four. So, we're going to pass the needle through the black one too. To begin with the last turn of this, the same amount of CBs. We continue with the white ones. So, like I was saying, I have a wish every year to be with my family, right? And since that never happened, I decide to get me a family. So, I get my babies. So, whenever I'm very sad, I hug them, pet them, kiss them. And that makes me happy. So, it's good to have somebody to love. Someone to love. So, we continue. We pick up one of white. Pass the needle through the black one. And I'm sorry if you guys hear noise. That will be my little girls playing upstairs. Running like a crazy. Right here, we step up, we pass the needle through the black and through the white one. Like so. We pull it. Right there, we have, let's say, the bottom. Alright? Now we take this out. And we're going to make one turn. This turn that is next, we are going to pick up one, the color that is next, and then we're going to pass the needle through two of the CBs, just like this. Again, pick up one, pass the needle through two CBs, like that. So,
right here we pick up one and we pass the needle through two right here to begin the next turn just like that we we'll pull it now we're going to pick up the next color which is white and we're going to do the same thing we escape two we pass the needle through the next one One more. We are almost there. To end this turn. Right here we pick up one. And we pass the needle through the black one and through the white one, like this. It's going to be like that. We pull it. Have to have this as close as we can, so we just pull it like that. Looks like a five right here. That's what we want, so. Alright, now we're going to pass the needle through all the CVs around. That's all we're going to do. And then we're going to look for um color that we want to put on top of it. Whichever color you guys going to use. I think I'm going to put a black one. It's easy to find right here. I think it's a black one. But I need a round one. Let's see if I'm lucky. Yeah, looks like I am lucky tonight. It's an A right there. And of course, if you guys are going to make this uh, pattern with uh, different size of beads, you have to choose, you know, whichever size you guys need it me i need a size eight so that's exactly what i get now we're gonna pass the needle through each one of the cps like i was saying just like this through all the white ones like that I'm gonna keep passing the needle as long as I can to make sure it's going to be really really tight We need it to look something like this. So now we're going to pick up the black bead. Then we pass the needle. We come out of this. We pass the needle through this one right here. Then we pass the needle around the white ones. 
just through the white ones to make sure it's going to be really tight Just like that, through all the white ones. If you cannot do two at a time, just do one at a time, if you can. It's much easier, I guess. And there you have it. That is the bead cup that I was talking about. So I hope you guys like it. I think it's very nice. If you guys like this one, go ahead and do it like that. If All right. So from here, I'm going down a couple of CBs, just tightening the work. Go down like that. Turn this way. Then you can turn this way. And you can go back this way. Like zigzag, kind of. Just like that. And obviously when you finish your bracelet then you're gonna put glue inside and then you're gonna put your thread or your cord or whatever it is that you're using. Just like that. Some of the CBs didn't have a big hole, so it's kind of hard to get through it. So you go through the ones they lay you, actually. Then we're going to make a nuts right here. Like that. We tied it as well as we can. We go up and tie it a little bit more. You can go to the other side and make more knots right there. I'm moving everything, I'm sorry. Put that you see all right so we're going to pass a needle for a couple more of sea beads like this Then go down. I'm gonna show you other way to make this this part of the pattern that is much easier. It's not that difficult. 
This one I think is difficult the way I show you today because it moves too much. So I think it is difficult. All right, and we are done right there. We cut it. And it's very hard for me to thread the needle, so I'm going to put it, all of these thread around, you know, however I can, because if I try to thread the needle, it takes me forever, so. I cannot do that. Well, there you have it. And there you have it. I think it looks very nice. All you have to do is thread the needle, pass it around, make knots, and cut it. That's all you need to do. Oh, well. And there you have it. I make two videos already. This one, I was just practicing. And then, this one, I make it with a white thread. With uh, size 11 C beads and... I work with um, size 10 needle and then size B of thread. And there you have it. I think it looks very cool. I hope you guys like it. I hope you understand how I explain it to you. And I hope you guys like this video as much as I do. Well, thank you very much for watching my videos. And will you please not forget to comment, rate, and subscribe to my channels. I really appreciate that so much.